Hi, my name is Chris and this is Battle Nonsense. In my last video I talked about the input lag that Battlefield 4 has on the PC and we compared it to the input lag of other games. I also showed you what exactly affects the input lag and what you can do on the PC to minimize it. If you have not seen that video yet then please pause this video here, watch the other one and then come back here, as there is some basic information that I won't repeat again. Ok, so in the comments of that previous video I got many requests that I should repeat the test on the console. And so I spent the better part of the day trying to find out how I can connect the LED to the gamepad. As it turned out, I cannot connect it to the trigger which is used to fire your gun, because I don't get the required voltage there. The only buttons that I can connect the LED to were the RB and LB buttons. So I decided to go with the RB which is used to spot enemies and to open the com rows. So in my previous video I pressed the left mouse button on my gaming mouse which had a polling rate of 1000, which then caused the LED to light up and so I could measure the time between that and the gun to start to fire on my screen, as I recorded all of that at 1200 frames per second with my high speed camera. For the console test I could not use the firing animation because I couldn't connect the LED to the trigger. So I now had to do the same test again on the PC, but this time I changed the key mapping to open the com rows when I pressed the left mouse button. This provided me with a reference value that I can compare the results from the console to. So when Battlefield 4 runs at 60 frames per second and uses a refresh rate of 60 Hz on that gaming monitor, then the input lag is 56.9 milliseconds. The delay for the com rows is much higher because DICE delays the com rows so that it does not show up when you just want to spot an enemy player. Since that additional delay is fixed and the same on all platforms, we are able to compare the results of the different platforms. So when I do the same test on the Xbox One using the wireless controller and the consumer LCD TV, then it takes the com rows 402 milliseconds to show up. That are 115 milliseconds more than on the PC. So if we take the default delay of the com rows into account, then this means that we look at an input lag of 172 milliseconds here. That is more than what you get when you use VSync on the PC at a refresh rate of 60 Hz. Now what if we use the gaming monitor instead of the TV? We then get the com rows after 368 milliseconds. That's 81 milliseconds more than on the PC and that means that we have an input lag of 138 milliseconds which is still more than the 115 milliseconds that we get on the PC with VSync at 60 Hz. Ok, so you might think now that these delays have to be bad because I'm using a wireless controller. I did expect that and so I also tested this using the USB connection. This will then reduce the lag by about 12 milliseconds, which was a surprise as I did expect to see a much bigger difference. So either the wireless communication between the console and the controller is really good or the USB connection is not so good. Or maybe the controller itself is the issue. So to find out if that's the case I simply connected the Xbox One controller to my PC using the USB cable and then I mapped the RB button to the firing action so that I could directly compare it to my gaming mouse. As it turned out the Xbox One controller is quite fast in USB mode. I got an average input lag of 59.4 milliseconds, which is only slightly slower than my gaming mouse that ran at a polling rate of 1000. So it looks like the gamepad has a polling rate of around 500, which is very good for gaming and so it won't be the reason why there is such a high input lag on the console. Now when we look at the input lag of 124 milliseconds that we have with the gaming monitor and the wired controller. And remember that we have an input lag of 115 milliseconds on the PC when we turn on VSync, then it seems plausible that VSync is enabled on the console and that's what causes the high input lag there. Now if we want to disable VSync to get the delay lower at the cost of tearing, then this is sadly not possible as there is no config option for that on the console. The best you can do is use a gaming monitor and a wired controller to reduce the input lag as much as possible. Now I know that many of you will ask now how this compares to the PlayStation 4 and I'm sadly not able to give you an answer as I don't own one, but I think that the comparison between the PC and the Xbox One is still quite interesting and I also think that the PlayStation 4 will not be that far off from the results of the Xbox One. If you have any further questions then please leave them in the comments down below, I will as always try to answer as many of them as possible. If you enjoyed this video then give it a like, subscribe for more and I hope to see you next time. Until then have a nice day and take care, my name is Chris and this was Battle Nonsense.